Cancer couples, hello and welcome to your weekly reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. So Cancer, this reading is for Cancer couples, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs and Cancerians. This is your reading from today, May the 11th until May the, 8th, the 19th. Okay, so let's get right into it. Just know that this is a general reading, and of course, not everything is going to resonate with everyone because it couldn't possibly resonate with everyone that's out there because it's only general. There's a Sagittarius. I'm specifically seeing fire sign for you. And while it doesn't resonate with everyone, I invite you to take a look at the videos for your sun moon rising and venus signs and if you're not sure how to calculate those take a look in the description box there are links that will take you to different websites that will have your natal chart calculated for you it's a good benefit to be able to understand yourself a bit better on the different facets of your personality all right and of course this can go vice versa yeah i'm seeing significant air for you air sign um, air sign Aquarius Libra Gemini fire sign Aries Leo Sag specifically Sag is what I saw already and I'm seeing earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn um, and also I'm seeing Phoenix so there could be a relevant Scorpio for you or that could be your chart placement and I'm seeing that the winter time could be a very relevant time for you um, something that you've been waiting for something significant can take place there I'm seeing uh, cancer couples that you're wanting to speak your mind. And if you're speaking your mind about something, speak your mind with confidence. Um, some of you could be seeking professional advice. I'm seeing contentment. I'm seeing peace, abundance. And I'm seeing that there's a temporary setback. And you could be going through a period of unnecessary worry. And this could definitely have something to do with a love relationship. Okay, as so I'm seeing union here. This could be like um, someone that you've known for quite some time, a long-standing relationship. Okay, and I feel like winter is significant here because I feel like cold, bitter cold. And what I mean by that is um, emotionally, someone's being cold toward you could be this fire sign, this Aries Leo Sag. So right now I'm feeling like Cancerians are feeling like <laughs> there could be a water sign. That could be you. Or you could be dealing with another Cancerian, of course. Or a Pisces or Scorpio. And uh, you're questioning whether or not this person really loves you. Okay. Burdens, Ten of Wands. More fire sign energy. Disappointment. And drama. That could possibly lead to an ending. You're going through a very difficult time in your relationship right now. And you are not being comfort comforted by the one that you love. Um, someone is being overly dramatic or one of you sees the other one as being overly dramatic. Okay you, um, something is causing you to be very dramatic, very overly emotional. Or that could, like I said, that could have been your partner's judgment toward you. Um, you've been waiting a long time for something. I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> it could have been for some type of financial change, something, and I'll clarify that. There could have been some financial losses, and I'm also seeing isolation. Okay, Cancerians, some of you need to take action, or there is this fire sign coming toward you to take action. Okay, and I'm seeing a cheetah there at the bottom. This could be someone from a distance. This could be someone traveling. Um, but yeah, fire sign. You could be taking action toward a fire sign as well as a general reading. So yeah, this can go vice versa. You're not really expecting too much out of this relationship, Cancer. 
Yeah, you've been going through some delays, some setbacks in your relationship, but that's about to be over. There's a lot of things hitting you at once, but you you are being um, guided to take action. Yeah, juggling. You're dealing with a situation that is unbalanced. You're going to be recognized for some quality work that you do also, Cancerians. And here is your energy with the chariot card. Forward movement. You're ready to move forward, maybe on a decision. Okay, I'm seeing that there could be travel. There is communication coming in for you, communication from a distance. And again, this doesn't have to be geographical distance. I'm feeling like the distance here could be emotional distance. I feel like you're dealing with someone who is emotionally distant toward you because as I stated before, I'm seeing winter time and I feel like the winter time could be like literal winter time, but I'm also feeling like just coldness. Someone's feeling bitter. I'm seeing money is coming in for you. If there was some type of issue with money, blockage with money, it takes a turn for the better for you, Cancerians. Um, I'm seeing money coming in. Queen of Swords energy. She is in the reverse. I usually associate her with Aquarius, but it could easily be a Gemini or a Libra that you're dealing with. Someone feels stifled in the relationship. I'm also sensing um, resentment. Someone is feeling resentful toward you, Cancer, or that's that could be you, Cancer. Someone, because I'm a Cancer moon, and stereotypically when someone hurts Cancer, means, you know, we don't forget. <laughs> we don't forget. And we can sometimes be resentful. That's a Cancerian trait. Okay, so it looks like the truth is going to come out. Receptivity. You're going to be on the receiving end of maybe this fire sign coming toward you. There's some type of delay in this person. I feel like that's what the, the delay is. Someone is delaying making an offer. Someone wants to fix things with you. Cancer couples, not someone. This is obviously your partner, but it doesn't have to be limited to home situation. This could definitely be a work situation. This could be family, right? Family members that you're dealing with. Yeah, but I'm seeing that someone's not taking action. They're taking forever to do so. So this person, this fire sign that's coming toward you, looks like they're coming toward you with positive intention. They want to work things out with you because I'm seeing a blessing comes in for you. Possibly even a blessing in disguise. And I'm seeing the truth is revealed about a situation. The light is shed on something. Okay, awareness. Something that you could be completely aware of. You're also trying to manifest something. Yeah, this is definitely a love relationship. And I'm seeing that the two of you get back. It might take a while. Someone's a bit maybe prideful right now. It looks like the two of you may end up working it out. Cancer. Okay, cancer singles, cancer couples, pardon me. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Okay. As I stated to you, some for some of you, this could be a family member. It's a tribe, and, family and tribe. And for others of you, this is definitely a love relationship. Someone that you share children with. Your partner, right? You are going through some type of rejection. You feel rejected by your partner right now. But what you are aware of, because you do have a, um, a card here that says awareness, you already know that this is your soulmate. And of course, we can have 20 soulmates in our life. It's not like one of the throwaways. I don't even want to put it that. I want to dumb it down and say throwaway soulmates. But like soulmates come into our lives for a reason a season or a lifetime not all soulmates that come into our lives are meant to be life partners this is that type of soulmate a life partner soulmate 
a twin flame for some of you. Love. Okay, there's definitely love. This could be someone, I'm, I keep hearing distance, but I don't feel like it has to be geographical dif distance. I feel like it could definitely be emotional distance. <sighs> You're trying to master something, something that you are very crafty at. You're about to get recognition and reward. You're about to see forward movement in some type of issue, temptation. There's something going on here for you, Cancers. Yep, see that? There's a fire sign. Queen of fire. There's your fire sign. And this situation is calling for you to have faith. Maybe you're losing faith in your fire sign right now. Something is pulling their attention away. Someone could be thinking about leaving the relationship. I'm seeing a new beginning. Ace of Wands with the fire sign again. So if someone leaves or is thinking of leaving, I'm seeing someone is returning. So whatever this coldness and distance is about, it looks like the two of you are able to get the fire burning again. And you're able to reunite. Because someone finally takes a leap of faith to come forward, okay, there's a lot of fire here, fire and earth, yeah, and here is the emperor, so some of you are dealing with an Aries, that could be specifically the fire sign that you're dealing with, I'm seeing Cancerian, Cancer, your own energy is here, and I'm seeing Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and I'm seeing Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. You're, you don't feel like this person is dedicated to the relationship. You feel like something's going on. And I'm going to clarify a few things right now. Uh, Page of Cups. Ace of Swords. Okay. So you're definitely able to get back to this place of talking things out. There's some type of honesty or mental clarity that comes out of this. Um, but right now, there's a separation. Because you sense that someone is doing something, their partner is doing something that they have no business doing. But why? Okay, let's clarify a few things here. What is this temptation about? Okay, someone's tempted to leave, is what I'm seeing. Someone's tempted to leave the relationship. Okay, what is this Queen of Swords in reverse about? I feel like there was some type of an argument, okay, some type of control. Let's turn her in the upright. No? Okay. I feel like there's, the two of you aren't seeing eye to eye. You had a rift. Someone is definitely speaking without tact in this situation, and whatever was said ended up hurting someone, or someone feels stabbed in the back by someone's recklessness. Someone's reckless actions, someone's reckless speech. I'm seeing immature communication as well. Someone is definitely feeling like they're not valued in the relationship, but I'm seeing communication from a fire sign specifically changes things for you. I'm seeing new home. Some of you could be traveling, purchasing a new home, relocating. There could be uh, fights, arguments about finances, financial losses. Okay, for some of you, you have a son that is significant to your life. It could be your son. It could be someone else's son. Or you're connected to this person. This is your, your uh, love interest, your, um, the one that you love. And you have a son with this person, some of you. Yep, goodbye to the old, welcome to the new. I feel like there's an old phase that ends, whatever this phase is about, where there's this discord between the two of you. It looks like you're able to find newness again. Okay, because you have two aces here, and you have the full card taking a leap of faith. 
into this new beginning. Okay. Wow, yeah, there's definitely a fire sign for you. Practice. You're practicing something. Practicing your craft. You're connecting with nature. Some of you are interested and ready to become spiritual teachers. Or a spiritual teacher comes into your life. Because things are going to begin to move very quickly for you after some type of delay here. And I'm seeing happy times. Something puts you on the right path. Um, Aquarius for some of you. And then I'm seeing that... Yeah. Infidelity. This could be past tense. This could be present tense. This could have been past tense, right? That could have been what drove the two of you apart in the past. Okay, I'm seeing that Scorpio again. Strong Scorpion energy here. Someone's ready to sever the ties, okay? But I'm seeing that the relationship does not end here even though there was some type of infidelity. This could have been past tense infidelity because I feel like this, for some of you, I yeah, see that King of Wands. And you're making a decision about what it is that you want to do. Do you want to remain with this fire sign, Aquarius? Or are you letting it go? I'm saying Aquarius. This is a Cancer reading. Some of you could have Aquarius in your chart. But specifically because I see a card here, star card, I'm specifically seeing Aquarius as the air sign. I'm seeing air and fire, and also earth towards Virgo Capricorn. You're waiting. You're waiting on something. You're waiting for someone, and it could take a while. Maybe you've been waiting for this person for a while. Six of Swords, Resolution. So I'm seeing that the two of you are able to resolve whatever this communication issue is about. There's been a breakdown in communication, but the two of you get back to love. Okay. Mm. Third party. This is the king of wands, by the way. I'm seeing two women, one man. Okay, so... There could be a significant female fire sign that's trying to come in to disconnect the two of you, wanting to break the two of you up. Someone's trying to lure a partner back, okay? But I'm seeing that it doesn't work. There is a lack of cohesion temporarily in the relationship. For some of you, this person may, you may end up severing the ties with this person, and this person may go to this fire sign, but I'm seeing Leo here specifically for fire sign as well, but I'm also seeing an ending with the Ten of Swords. There could be some type of betrayal, or there was some type of betrayal in the past. Ten of Cups, though, I see that the two of you can work it out, but temporarily, it looks like there's a drawback. Someone's trying to come in to infiltrate your relationship and break the two of you up. They want to, someone wants, I feel like this is someone from the past. This is like an ex or someone else outside the relationship, whomever it is, is trying to break the two of you up. Okay. Dreams be significant pay attention to your dreams and what I mean is by the your what I mean by dreams yes aspirations this is also your literal dreams you could be getting some type of information through your dreams I'm seeing trust and I'm seeing faith okay so this situation may require faith and trust but I'm seeing trust issues, obviously, within the foundation of the relationship. Expression. Someone has to speak up. Someone wants something. Someone has something to say, and they finally come out to express the truth. I'm seeing resentment. The fire sign is coming toward you, Cancer, and manifest. You have someone coming toward you that wants to manifest this new beginning. Right, you have three aces here. A lot of significant change is coming into your life. 
a lot of major arcana here. Something regarding your home life changes. This could be someone that decides to leave. No, but it looks like whatever it was that you're concerned about, excuse me for that, your concern fades away. Maybe you were concerned that this person was leaving. I'm saying healing. This is moving towards healing. But right now, it looks like there's some type of division here. Um, someone needs space. There is the Queen of Wands. Queen of Fire. So like I said, there's a fire sign. Yeah, see that? Union. We have two cards here talking about union. So there could be a fire sign that's trying to come in to divide you, right? Trying to bring in temptation and lure your partner away. And like I said, for some of you, this already did happen. It played out in the past. You're trying to heal from what happened in the past so that the two of you can move forward. But someone is temporarily feeling like they're leaving. Someone is testing. Someone doesn't feel like their partner's committed at all to the relationship. Okay. And temporarily, the foundation of your relationship could be turned upside down. And I'm seeing conflict here. Discord. So Gemini, the lover's card. Gemini could be significant for you. And it did land in the reverse. So someone's not making a decision about what they want to do temporarily. They're taking their time because someone is healing from heartbreak. Someone doesn't want to make a decision. And one of you could be, you know, due to a lack of progress. You could be doubting whether or not the two of you could have a reconciliation. But I'm saying that someone definitely wants a new beginning. And, and while the other one is feeling emotionally distant from the other because of something that was done or something that was suspected. So what happens here for Cancer Purples? I'm saying move. Someone may move out of the home. Some of you may be kicking your partner out. But it looks like you're able, yeah, you might be kicking your partner out for another person. Detach. So I'm seeing two storylines here. Some of you, Cancer, your partner could be leaving to be with someone else. Specifically a fire sign or an air sign or an earth sign. For others of you, there's someone that is threatening your relationship. And it looks like temporarily you're having an issue with your partner because you don't trust them. But something ends up working out for you because I'm seeing just breathe. Okay, Take a moment to think about what it is that you want to do. Surrender the situation. Some of you are detaching from the situation. Yeah, but with the Ace of Swords, it leads to victory. Okay, with work, I feel like you find some type of inspiration. You're taking action on something, forward movement. You're, there's some type of message that comes in about work. And maybe you become a business owner. You, you're taking the lead. You're taking authority. One thing is for sure, you have a lot of emotions running through you. But with the Ace of Cups again, I'm seeing a new beginning. Master. You're mastering your emotions or you are mastering something, some type of skill set that you have to bring to the table. Okay, Because I'm seeing master and mastery. You're dedicated to some type of work. Yep, see that? Resolution, resolve. Something comes in to resolve the situation, but temporarily you're going through this period of sadness and isolation. Seek, maybe you're seeking solace, you're seeking um, isolation, you're seeking time to yourself. Maybe you're seeking God, you're seeking your higher power for answers. Or maybe you're seeking the truth, but one thing is for sure, you're going with the flow heart chakra i feel like your heart chakra is blocked by pain okay because and, and grief because i'm seeing your heart is broken but you're still offering this love to this person that hurt you 
dedication and effort, dedicated effort, pardon me, where you take the lead, right? Such as what the emperor does. You're taking authority over your situation. This is you mastering something, taking the lead, being in a lead position, okay? And it requires courage for you to move forward because I'm seeing you're ending a cycle, going into a new one. Ten of Swords, endings. Something is ending here. <sighs> okay. Let's go ahead and, you know what, I want to pull a few more. This is for Cancer Couples. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Leaving. For some of you, someone is leaving, and you feel like this is the best thing for you to do for yourself. Some of you are definitely leaving a job, a work situation. I'm seeing home changes. Something regarding the home brings in a significant change. For some of you, this could be a sun, like I said earlier. Perfect timing, I'm seeing divine timing. And I'm seeing ask for help from others. Some of you may be getting advice from other people. Okay. Success in your relationship and in your business, so don't stop. Spirit is saying, don't stop. I'm seeing forgiveness. And I'm seeing trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Communicate clearly. There's issues here with communication. I'm definitely seeing a breakdown in communication. Let's go ahead and pull an advice card for cancer couples. Poster. What advice do you have for cancer couples? Sun. Moon and rising and Venus the union of hearts this is a connection that defies explanation I don't feel like there's a separation for most of you in this situation it could be temporary but I'm seeing the two of you coming back together for romance and forgiveness it says lavish the one you love with your personal attention and affection romance where the two of you are spending time together, take a chance on love. When we start love, our lives are changed forever. For other, but like I said, two storylines. Some of you are leaving a relationship because you found out about infidelity. Someone is leaving and starting a new relationship with the third party. Have faith. Trust your faith in this situation. Okay, you have two cards here talking about faith. Get to know each other. Learning to meet another's need for love is important for a relationship to grow. And then I'm hearing, seeing listen with your heart. You are listening to what is being said, but you need to listen with your heart. It goes back to communicating clearly. Okay, definitely see possible travel. Someone's changing homes, changing locations, leaving a home, moving into a new home, ending one phase, moving into the next. So that's what I'm seeing for Cancer couples. So, Cancerians, this concludes your reading. So I want to take this time out to thank everyone for all of the donations that were made to, towards my father's burial. So for those of you who may not know about this, my father did pass away of colon cancer last month. And so there is a GoFundMe page that is open. And yes, I just want to take the time out to thank everyone for their condolences and their donations. And if you are interested in making a donation there is a link to the GoFundMe page. 
and that can be found on my website, which is angelicascensionstarot.com. For those of you who are interested in booking personal readings, you can go ahead and head over to my website as well. I want to show you this on my phone. Okay. You can book on my website. And like I said, it's Angelic Ascension Tarot. And I offer something new on my website now. I am doing live readings. So you can order a live reading with me rather than having to wait for a pre-recorded reading. Although I still do pre-recorded, this is an option for you, for those of you who need the reading quicker. You can do a live session over the phone. So here is my website. It's still opening up. Okay, Angelic Ascensions Tarot, where you would book is here at these three lines. You press there and it's going to bring you, did I press it hard enough? It's going to bring you to a booking area. It's going to bring you to a menu. Okay, yeah, it's opening. It's going to bring you to a menu and yep. Okay, so there's a drop down that's going to come in. I don't know why my phone is moving so slowly right now, but it is. So it says book now, phone readings, live readings. Okay, so what you would do is hit book now and it will take you to the next page that will show you the different types of readings that I offer. Okay, as long as well as pricing. Okay, so if you ever had an in an interest in pricing that is also located there on my website so you can book your personal reading there and I'm also available on the instant go app by text only give me a little bit of time 24 to 48 hours hopefully to answer your questions let that be let use instant go for something where you have some simple question you have a simple question or something that you're not looking for a lot of guidance on it's great for that type of thing but if you have something where you have something pressing something where you have to you you need some real some deep information you'd be better off with a personal reading okay but yes, thank you everyone. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you next week. Bye for now.